So with the new Marvelous 8 out and Keyshot 8.1 and also the Premiere Pro with all of these new features out, we decided to play with the entire softwares and see what we can get out of them. And whenever you think about clock design, the first place you have to think of where to get them done properly is actually Marvelous Designer. And so we're going to present to you a sister channel of ours called Zarif, where you can learn amazing stuff about how you can start from a beginner and get into an advanced level Marvelous Designer user. And so for this short, we wanted to see how the Alembic cache from Marvelous Designer holds up in Keyshot 8.1. And so what we decided to do today was we got out this amazing uh, quiche, or we, this amazing marvelous design um, simulation and then we moved it over to Keyshot. And now within Keyshot we figured out that you can import this and also retime the animation how you want it to be. The main idea was to create some sort of a gradient feel for the character or for the, ob for the object so we decided to go ahead and play with the we decided to go ahead and play with the color gradient that exists in Keyshot and now if you're trying to get used to Keyshot material graph there is a video in the channel that talks about how you can get started with Keyshot material graph and I would like you to go over and check out that channel I mean check out the video and also see how uh, you can get better using Keyshot. We're also going to make more videos that will be related to Keyshot material graph. So stay tuned and always check out this channel for that. And so for for the most part, what we're doing right now is we're just making sure that the looks and the, the entire thing looks perfectly fine. So for some reasons, we also wanted to play around with the image um, style. So we're going to go ahead and make some image style, play around with the environment and see what is best for what we want to create and I would also like to put this out there that most times when you're working you don't really need to be in so much rush to get things out you may want to take your time to do a bit of uh, housekeeping for your beloved uh, for your beloved project and so that you don't get things uh, working too fast and getting things out of the way just because you want to show the public something and in case you're walking and let's say your object is not touching the floor for any good reason, you can go over to the edit menu and you can put the new ground plane and the ground plane can help you, you know, reflect the, the, the ground properly for you. And so with that done, we decided to get out some renders and we fly over to Premiere. And there is actually... A lot of applications out there that you can make use of but because we're trying to test out all of this uh, brand new apps that's been released and so we jumped into Premiere Pro 2019 and we decided to make use of the uh, Lumetri color you can also do this in any other app you want but we just wanted to see how the, the color correction would work perfectly fine and our idea for this was we wanted to get some sort of rainbow like effect that would just uh, go all the way it's going to ripple all the way from the base to the top and so this is what we came out with If you have comments about this and let's say you want to talk about you want us to have a uh, discussion about how to go about these amazing apps or maybe there are tutorials you want to see coming up next please put them in the comment section down below there is a discussion group now so you can go over there and we can have a discussion about this stuff and if you're new here and you're not subscribed to this channel I would so much appreciate it if you go around subscribing to the channels uh, check out Zarif. Also, make sure you try as much as possible to check out those amazing videos that has been made there. And turn on notification, like this video, all those fun stuffs you like to do. And I will see you guys next time. And before we go, don't forget to check out amazing videos which we made about Keyshot 8.1 and other things that are available in Keyshot now. See you guys later. Peace.